So Samsung has been faking their orgasm. <laughs> what? Who put that in the script? So it seems like Samsung has been lying about the authenticity of all the moon pictures that people have been taking with their smartphones from the S20 Ultra till the S23 Ultra. But the question is, were they actually lying? First of all, this allegation is nothing new. It's been going around for years. So calm down. Don't get your underwear in a twist. Even Samsung have publicly said that the moonshots have been enhanced with AI, but that's just to improve the textures and remove the noise. That is why the scene optimizer needs to be turned on. And if you take a look at these two photos on the screen, you can see the picture on the left is a photo of the moon taken on my S21 Ultra with the scene optimizer turned off. And the picture on the right is the same photo of the moon taken with the S21 Ultra with the scene optimizer turned on. Now you can tell that from the photo on the left, it's just a little bit overexposed and probably the ISO is too high and that's why there aren't a lot of details. But if you really look at them, you can tell that it's the exact same photo. I mean, the AI just filled in the blanks with where some of the textures were missing. And another point that proves that Samsung is in line is the fact that if you go to your pro photo or pro video mode and you zoom into the maximum capacity, turn down the ISO all the way and you should still be able to get a pretty clear picture of the moon. Now, it might not be as detailed as what you would get when you are taking it with the 100x zoom option, but you will definitely be able to tell that you're taking a photo of the moon and it's not just going to be a white circle or blob like what you would get with most other devices. I would love to show some B-roll of exactly what I'm talking about with the pro mode, but unfortunately there is no moon outside tonight. I've gone outside like twice. It's currently 12.37 AM and nope, there is no moon in sight. So you're just going to have to believe me. So please, Whatever. From what the infamous Reddit post said, a lot of people believe that Samsung are just completely replacing the moon you see in your viewfinder with a completely different image of the moon that they have stored in some database somewhere. And honestly, that's not what's going on. Unlike some other smartphone company that actually tried this out a couple of years ago, <coughs> Huawei. Samsung is simply using AI to improve the photos by enhancing the textures and reducing the noise. It's kind of like what they do with normal photos, basically. But I do agree that Samsung should have been a little more transparent with their marketing because they made it seem like, you know, your smartphone can just zoom into the moon and take these super high resolution photos without any assistance from AI or computational photography, which is simply not true. And it doesn't have to be true because I mean, look at the size of these smartphones and look at the size of the camera lenses. It would be kind of ludicrous to expect them to be able to zoom that far. If you want to take photos of the moon, go buy a telescope. And one thing a lot of people fail to consider is the fact that every single photo you take on your phone relies on processing. I mean, unless you shoot in pro raw or expert raw, or you have the uh, Nokia pure view, I think it's what it's called and you're basically shooting in RAW. Every single smartphone relies on some level of software processing to make the photos stand out. I mean, even MKBHD complained about the iPhone software processing not really being the best recently, and even Google used their computational photography to stand above the rest of the other smartphones uh, when it came to photo quality, even though they had mediocre hardware for a couple of years. So there's really nothing bad with you know, AI or software processing on your photos. It's normal. It's what a lot of people like. It's what they find aesthetic. And if Samsung is, you know, using AI to enhance the photos of the moon, why do you care so much, honestly? And just so you don't forget, the zoom capabilities of Samsung phones are legit and have more uses than just taking photos of the moon. No other smartphone can give you such clear photos at 30x zoom or even some usable photos at 100x in case you need to take the photo of a car's license plate or you're at a concert or a stadium. There was even a guy who used his Samsung S23 Ultra to take photos of Messi during the World Cup, photos which were actually usable. And like I mentioned earlier, if you want to take photos of the moon, we are going to steal the moon then just buy a telescope. Let's be frank, the optical hardware of a smartphone can only do so much when it comes to taking photos of the moon and just taking photos in general. 
After a certain level, the AI does the rest of the work to get you a decent image. That's one of the reasons why when you're taking a night mode photo, it looks terrible in your viewfinder. But then once you take the photo and the AI actually processes it, then you see an amazing night mode photo and you're like, oh, wow, this looks so much better than even what the eyes can see. It's AI processing. It's normal. So honestly, let's just calm down. It's a nice feature to be able to take photos of the moon. It's impressive. It's kind of like a party trick. You do it for a couple of people or maybe to impress the person you have a crush on and you never really have to do it again. I've used the S21 Ultra. I currently have the S22 Ultra and I've only taken so many photos of the moon. You get tired of it over time. It's kind of like a novelty. And I don't think there's anyone actively rushing out and running out of their house to buy the S21 or S22 or S23 Ultra just because they want to take photos of the moon. Like, mom, give me your credit card. I want to go take photos of the moon. Nah, come on. If you do decide to bust out your wallet and get one of these devices, then you should probably get it because the regular cameras are amazing. The video quality is great. The build quality is stellar. The performance is actually awesome. The display is unmatched with just how crisp and clear it is. And maybe you even get, you know, an S Pen if you get one of the S22 or S23 Ultra. So there are so many other things you can enjoy with your S22 or S23 Ultra. You don't have to worry about if the moon shots are real or not. I mean, think about it. These phones are actually expensive. They're going to put a dent in your wallet. I don't want you to be upset that your moon photos aren't real. But speaking of wallets, let me hook you up with something nice. Exter is a brand that makes high quality, amazing, compact wallets that are durable, elegant, and very functional. They also have variants with air tags in case you want to ensure that you can track your wallet all the time. And if you're not an Apple user, they have a tracker card which you can put in your wallet and know where it is at all times. And if you're interested in getting any of these wallets, you can shop using the link in the description or using my code TECHPHD for a 30% discount. And now that I've hooked you up with some really nice wallets, uh, I want to reach 1 million likes. So please, Sarapakara, Sarapakara, Okay, thank you. Let me know what you think about this whole zooming fiasco in the comment section below, and I will catch you in any of the videos in this playlist. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Say we drunk in the spirit, no, we don't stay sober. We don't stay sober. Hey, fly as a jet, but with no layovers. With no layovers, I am.